All right, all right, here we go, here we go. You guys ready? I didn't want to leave you hanging on that Ted Nugent story about tractor supply uh, supporting LGBTQRSTUV events, okay, where they have children at the events witnessing shake a booty stuff in their face. All right, so all I said was I was listening to Ted Nugent was on the TV and he had said that and my ear caught it and I thought, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so I shared that with you guys and right away you guys wanna know about links, you wanna know about the information and I respect that, right? And I did my best, I looked around, I found a link for their mission statement which says pretty much what we say there says. And what you have to remember as well is that there's a lot of these companies have signed up with this you know, it's like an Agenda 23 or a, you know, what's that, a Paris Accord or it's like a, you know, Build Back Better. You know what I mean? Like they're all in on signing up for like this thing, you know, this program. I don't know what it's called right off the top of my head. Honestly, I can't keep track of all this crazy stuff that's going on these days. But God's beauty and design is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Now, this was the beautiful part. I was sitting there listening to Ted Nugent tell this story, and he was on the TV, so I mean, I, there was no way I could like grab it and show it to you guys. And so we got off, I put it on air, and then I started reading your comments, and I started kind of feeling bad too, because I was like, man, I don't really have a link for them. And then I found the link with their mission statement, and I shared that with you guys down in the comments section on yesterday's video. And then, it rebroadcasted, right? So Ted came back on, it was a repeat because someone was listening to my troubles and they said, I'm gonna give it to you one more time. So I grabbed the camera, put it on the screen and this is exactly what Ted said. Improvise, adapt and, and overcome because if you just focus on the, the, the evil perpetrated by our government every day, the evil of the sexualization of children where the Michael Moore fan club literally dresses up like prostitutes, fat men dressed up like prostitutes, twerking little boys and girls and teaching them that being a drag queen is aspirational. I, th these are horrible times. The way that we can help to resolve that is something that happened with us personally they had one of those drag queen story hours oh, in Waco, yeah. Texas. Waco. We found out that two of the businesses that we frequented supported, not just supported. Yeah, Tractor Texas. Supply, it's all about farming and them. ranching. Tractor Supply supported a drag queen perverted child sexualization event. We don't go to Tractor Supply anymore. What's wrong with you people? And How can you work for an outdoor farming, ranching, down-to-earth community and then support the perversion of drag queens for children? And then our pool company, I don't know why we have a pool, except she likes to have a pool, and I like to watch her in the pool. <laughs> she does the breaststroke so now. What the hell? So anyhow, the pool company, we Shemaine called them and said, we're not, we're not working with you anymore. They go, well, we support drag queens, and they hung up on us. What's the name of that company? What I don't want to. I don't want to. What a bunch wanna, of perverts. We're not going to go there. Find out who's a pervert and don't support perverts. Yeah. Now I was a little fired up when I was talking. Now they did not have this event, I don't think, at an actual tractor supply store. Okay? Tractor supply is corporate owned and what they say from the top goes out to all their stores. So it wasn't some manager having a bad day. It wasn't some slip up. Okay? They're all in on it. Now, I don't know when they signed up for it if they knew what that would entail. You know what I mean? I don't know if they know. I don't know if they condone that. I don't know if they put out a statement. I haven't heard nothing about it. All I'm got, trying to let you guys know is our children are under attack. Places where you do business are involved with it, right? There's a lot of these corporations, Walmart, Costco. Just think back on the mass thing. Think back for two years the ones that were heavy into it right up front those are the ones that are signing up for this you know this big pack you know what i mean like they all made this deal together in the back room and we're just down here you know collateral damage and whatever else happens <laughs> and that's how it goes so that's what i was just trying to say man oh man is that beautiful or what look at that i told stace it looks like we're on mars or something look at that 
right now we have uh, on 70 eastbound and this was so important man I just stopped my whole thing stop and I jumped out I recorded this video for you guys I'm gonna try to get it up for you right off the bat ASAP so we're on 70 eastbound rolling up on Grand Junction Colorado and uh, we'll be in Denver and then heading home to the homestead so again, you know, this is just a plea to all the Christians out there, man. It's time to really start manning up on your Bible and on your scriptures. We can't go along to get along, right? I don't accept LGBTQ, okay? I don't. And you can't make me, <laughs> right? But I don't treat people bad just because of what they are or how they believe. You got it? But I don't have to accept it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to, like, hang around it. I don't have to say it's okay or, you know, walk on eggshells about it. Right? And if you're that way, I hope you understand. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. That's on you. But, you know, we got to stop shoving it in everybody's face. You know what I mean? That's all. Especially in front of these kids, man. They're so innocent. And like I said, you know, I've been around this stuff, man. I've been a victim of it. Okay? Okay. I'm not just running my chops here, so. All right, just another quick short video from the road. Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you haven't hit the thumbs up already. Make sure if you're not subscribed to our channel, because normally we live in a log cabin on 11 acres. We grow most of our own food. We're trying to teach you guys how to get out of the rat wheel system. <laughs> and uh, usually we got a lot of great information for you guys. Hopefully this was great information too, because I like to know where my money's going. You know, if the government steals it from me and then disperses it in a bad way, I mean, I, I have little or no control over that. I could just try to vote it out. But definitely, when I, when I have my money in my pocket and my boots are walking, I can definitely make decisions that way. All right? You guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with us as always. And, uh, man, we got some good stuff on deck for you guys. All right? We'll see you on the next video. Did you guys know that in the 16, 17, and 1800s, chocolate was consumed as a beverage? There was no such thing as a chocolate candy bar. Well, we're bringing chocolate tea back to the 21st century. Because it's loaded with antioxidants our body loves, and it's a great source of magnesium that's wonderful for bone and heart health. It's a great addition to your coffee machine or your French press or just along with your favorite sweetener. You can find it at offgridwithdougandstacy.com along with our brand new tea infuser. Simple to use for easy steeping. Cheers!